What is negative energy in physics? If you've ever wondered about the mysterious concept of negative energy in physics, you're not alone. Let's break it down in a way that's easy to understand. Negative energy is a concept that might sound like something from a science fiction novel, but it's actually a real idea in physics. To start, let's look at gravitational energy. When two massive objects are close to each other, they have a gravitational potential energy that is always negative. This is because it takes positive energy to pull them apart. As they move closer, their gravitational potential energy becomes more negative, and as they move apart, it approaches zero. In the context of the entire universe, this negative gravitational energy can balance out the positive energy from matter. In fact, some models suggest that the total energy of the universe could be exactly zero, with positive energy from matter canceled out by negative energy from gravity. Now let's dive into some quantum effects. In quantum field theory, negative energy can appear in several ways. One example is the Casimir effect. Imagine two very thin metal plates placed extremely close together in a vacuum. The space between these plates restricts the types of virtual particles that can exist there. These virtual particles are pairs of particles and antiparticles that pop in and out of existence. Because fewer virtual particles can exist between the plates than outside them, the energy density between the plates is lower, causing the plates to attract each other. Another example is the Dirac C theory, proposed by Paul Dirac. According to this theory, the vacuum of space is filled with negative energy electrons. However, this idea was later replaced by the concept of antimatter. Black holes also play a role in negative energy. In the ergosphere of a rotating black hole, particles can have negative energy due to the rotation of space-time. The Penrose process involves a body splitting into two parts, with one part gaining negative energy and falling into the black hole, while the other part gains positive energy and escapes. Hawking radiation is another phenomenon where negative energy is key. Virtual particles near a black hole's event horizon can become real if one particle falls into the black hole with negative energy while the other escapes as radiation. This process slowly reduces the black hole's mass over time. Negative energy also appears in speculative theories like wormholes and warp drives. For a wormhole to stay open, negative energy is needed to counteract the gravitational collapse. The Alcubierre warp drive proposes creating a bubble of space-time that moves by expanding space behind it and shrinking space in front, allowing for faster-than-light travel without violating relativity. In cosmology, negative energy density is associated with dark energy, which is driving the acceleration of the universe's expansion. So to sum it up, negative energy in physics is a real concept that explains various phenomena from gravitational fields to quantum effects and even speculative theories about space travel. It's not just a theoretical curiosity, but a fundamental part of our understanding of the universe. 